and there we arrived at King's Cross train station. There I am, very excited to have my ticket. There's the train opposite us leaving and I decided to have some iced coffee which I bought yesterday. So we decided to get on the hop on hop off bus again just like at Oxford the day before. that we could plug in into those machines to hear the audio description but there was no description on the bus so unfortunately I couldn't film any audio for you guys to hear and I was Extremely disappointed to find that Queen's College was closed to visitors and we couldn't go in. So we just walked around and took some photos of the mathematical bridge and the river cam. walking around Queen's College, we just walked around the area as well. So that's the exterior of King's and just walked along the streets. That is Pembroke Street as you can see and that is because I wanted to visit Pembroke which is a college inside Cambridge. I had my heart set on that and that was my main agenda for coming here. So we took a rather long way to walk towards that and there was a sign there that I suppose said please shut the gate but obviously no one had shut the gate so we just walked inside 
Andy found out later that we were supposed to go to the porter's lodge and I think have to pay a certain sum to go inside the college. But we didn't know that so we went inside for free. And I must say, Pembroke is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There we were walking along a rather muddy path, walking through the courts. And I shall just speed up this part. And then we pass through a set of gates to this court in Pembroke. I'm for, I forgot the name of it, but that's the college library. And very unfortunately, I did not get to go inside. But here is a very nice decoration of books at the front of the library. After touring Pembroke, we decided to go to the Fitzwilliam Museum and that is where I did a lot of shopping for gifts for my friends. I wasn't particularly interested by the exhibits inside the museum but I suppose some people might and I did manage to get in a video before the lady told me that no videos were allowed but I honestly hadn't seen the sign that said no videography so um, I managed to capture this clip illegally. And then we got on the hot on hop off bus again to go to Fitzwilliam College which was really really far away it wasn't even on the map that they provided us but when we got there we decided that we didn't want to alight from the bus so we just looked out of the windows There we are, we passed the mathematical bridge and the river camp again and we saw from the window of the bus that the sign said that Queen's College is now open to visitors. So we decided to come back after the tour of the bus had ended to Queen's College. Soon we could see King's College Chapel from the bus and everyone was snapping photos of it because it was so beautiful and here is a close up. Very happy to see that Queen's College was now open to visitors but we had to pay £3.50 per person to go inside but they specifically told us that we were not allowed to step on the grass or go up any stairs so we couldn't actually look inside any of the buildings just walk around the courts and the exterior and so I felt that £3.50 per person is not very worth it for what you get to see but we did manage to get a lot of photos I must say Queen's College or in fact every other building in Cambridge since they look nearly the same are really beautiful. They have this really aged beautiful look to them.
And here we walked on the first floor of this building, which I think was being used for interviews. And we had lunch at this place and take note of this painting because the most embarrassing moment of my life happened there. So we had lunch there, all went well, but as we were getting up to leave the cafe and I was putting on my coat, I accidentally hit the side of that painting. And that painting, which was hanging on two nails on the wall, got detached from one of the nails. One side of the painting came down, it knocked over a stand of cutlery. It made a huge noise, everyone looked towards me and thankfully this girl who was about my age and I think she was here for an interview helped me put up the side of the painting that had fallen. So thank you if you're watching this and I've never been more embarrassed in my life. Right, embarrassing intermission is over. Right now we were crossing a certain bridge to get to the river camp and the bridge of size of Cambridge but we walked for a really long time, it was really cold but we still didn't get to it so instead we just decided to take photos from afar and at Marks and Spencer I found kettle chips and hummus which is very rare in Singapore so I bought a pack and then we just took the train back to London. Our train was delayed for 8 minutes I think because of animals on the tracks earlier according to the announcement so we were pretty freaked out and it turns out that there were only 4 cars instead of 8 so it was really cramped and my mom and I had to be separated and sit with strangers because there weren't enough seats but it's fine at least we still got seats so we went to the Harry Potter store at platform 9 and 3 quarters but I didn't buy anything there I couldn't be bothered to wait in line for that photo spot anyway and we saw these really cool signs afterwards we went to the British Library of course we couldn't borrow any books or browse any books over there but we just walked around the exhibits and the galleries so the theme for that part of the time was cats which was pretty cute we also went inside some of the shops and I bought lots of books and gifts for friends and other book related things. So really happy with that part of the trip. inside the British Library of the British Library which I thought was really cool and after I had walked one round around it I realized that there was also a basement built inside an exhibit so I filmed that as well there you go the basement of books and at the station I saw this really pretty Christmas tree by Tiffany's and we just took the tube back to our hotel and we bought dinner at Pret A Manger, I think it's called, downstairs from our hotel and we ate dinner back in our room. So I had a bath bomb just to end of the day and that is all for day 3 in the UK. I really enjoyed that day and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and my other channel as well. And don't forget to follow all my social media which will be linked in the description box. Bye!